Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we are having a look at the new and improved updated version of BD Armory. Now, as you can see on this plane, there are a few new types of modules and things and all kinds of cool looking gubbins all over this. So let's go to the utility section, which is where you're going to find all of your BD Armory stuff, just for simplicity. And we've still got the Vulcan Courage, the 50 cal turrets, uh, we've got the ARAM missile, all this stuff looks very familiar to you guys, but if we look a little bit further down, we've got a countermeasures pod, which is this little thing here. And what this does, it spits out flares, and why would it spit out flares, you, you're thinking to yourselves? Well, that's a good question. The question is that this module here, which is the standard control configure module that we had a look at last time, which allows you to control all of your weapons uh, for the few clicks, now has a new and improved, well, has a new system called Guardian Mode, which means that you can deploy tanks, you can deploy uh, anti-aircraft missile launchers, and then you can set up the Guardian Mode, and then launch something else like this ship here, and your tanks and your missile drones and all kinds of other ships, they will defend themselves. Anybody comes within the predefined distance, or within field of view, all of which are fully adjustable, as I'll show you. The ship will use the weapons that you've selected it for it to use to try and take you out as good as possible. So that's why you need a countermeasures pod, which uh, it has a percentage. Each one has got a good, uh, it's got a chance. I'm not sure how high a chance, but it's got a chance of confusing any missile fired at you to so that the missile fires uh, the countermeasure. Uh, as well as that, we've got the old cannon. We've got a new, it's a Hydra 70 rocket pod, which you can see just here underneath the ship. It's quite small and quite dinky. Uh, it fires these little rockets here. A little visual thing that I really, really love about this is each rocket, when it fires, leaves a little hollow space. They are, they do actually empty, so you can tell when you're out by just quickly looking at it, as opposed to having to pull up the option menu to look. We've still got our Hellfire missiles, uh, and we've got a bigger bomb uh, missile here which is a larger version of the Hellfire missile so it's an air to ground missile it's got a big blast radius similar to that of a bomb it's got a range of about two kilometers and it's pretty nifty really at taking out ground targets you don't have to get as close as you used to do with the smaller Hellfire missile uh, moving along we've got a hidden Vulcan cannon so it operates pretty much the same as the GU Dash Tac 8. It's a 30 mil oh, so 20 millimeter, sorry, rotary cannon, but it does not have uh, any kind of uh, angle adjustments. So it's like a Vulcan. Vulcans can move. This can't really. This is a straight line, but it's hidden, so it's a little bit like the, the straightforward cannon there. Now, the Nullix module, which is this big gun here, which you're probably wondering what's all about, is the M102 Howitzer, which is radially mounted. You can put it onto pretty much anything. As you can see, I've got it just underneath the uh, the ship here. And a little camera look for target acquisition. Now, the model for this and its application for use, I believe, uh, is from the uh, AC, AC-130 gunship, I think that's on the uh, Ghost Rider gunship which is the, the massive Boeing type um, ship which has got all the guns and cannons pointing out sideways so you can make one of them. Uh, which I have actually made one. I'm just going to load that one in to show you what it looks like. The AC-11 instead of the AC-10 which is the gunship. I called it the AC-11. It's the next step of improvement. But uh, this howitzer is designed to... There we go. Look at all of that. That looks amazing! Uh, it's designed to stick out of the side and uh, of a ship and pretty much fire. It has the same kind of mechanics as the tank barrels, the tank turrets, which we have seen before, which is here. So you can't get any extra ammunition. It has a limited traversal, limited amount of traversal, just like the miniguns do. So it's not 100, 360 or anything. But it packs quite a powerful punch, and it's quite fun to use, especially in this kind of format. I, I kind of find it pretty cool to use. So if we load our other ship back in, we have got a short-ranged air-to-air missiles to complement the longer range. So we've got a two variants, both short and long range. This is kind of like a... well, it's... Like Sidewinder, you stick it on the edge of your vehicle. If you're flying against another vehicle that's in mid-air, you can use it. Um, same as most air-to-air -air missiles, it's got a limited blast radius, but it's quite agile. They're good at manoeuvring around. 
So I've equipped this ship with a few of the additional extra modules. And I have set a few targets up out in the wilderness. And we're going to go and attack them. So I can show you what the Guardian mode looks like and what are the other features. So let's go to launch. Yes, clear launch way. That's fine. So, while this is loading up, uh, the other things that have been changed in this is that the way the damage is applied by the weapons is now applied as heat damage, which means that this mod should work with pretty much any other mod. Any other parts mod, uh, we're looking at B9 Aerospace, KW Rocketry, all of that stuff is perfectly fine with these guys, which is pretty decent really. Uh, so, no more weird damage uh, allocation things like they were. Now it's all about just overheating when a module overheats it. I'm just going to put the brakes on that. When the module overheat it kind of goes pop so that's kind of good. There's a couple of other additional things so if I, if I activate my weaponry armed I've hotkeyed it but it's a button on here and you need to arm your weapons before you can use them uh, unless you want to individually toggle the weapons. Uh, let's test our flares. There we go, look at them just rolling away. Now we've got these all over the ship to the sun underneath. You need to be careful with flares though. They are hot. They, they're they hot and if they touch parts of your ship at close range, if they end up just rolling across your ship, it can damage your ship, which I think is a really cool feature. So let's select, now we've got a Maverick missile. Now it works like every other missile in this mod. All you have to do is target lock what you want, be within range and fire. Um, so let's go to the next one which is our cannon and as you can see there's a lovely green dot they've got rid of the let's, uh, yeah. and, uh, rocket pods. they've got rid of the vague kind of white large target receptacle that they had uh, in the last one now they've got a lovely nice new spiffing green thing which tells you exactly where where it's going to land uh, this thing is being recalculated as well, so instead of kind of vaguely indicating where it's going to land, this is very accurate and tells you pretty much exactly where it's expecting to land. Uh, and if we put the rocket pods, even the rocket pods themselves, that's the rocket pod underneath this wing, but as we would fire more rockets off it would switch. Uh, these rocket pods have their own static non-movable because it doesn't track. Uh, little targeting receptacle. Again, it's the same lovely green one which shows up quite well at night and during the daytime. So let's turn our weapons off and we're out of range, out of two kilometers, which is good because we're not going to be hit with a missile. So let's set up our teams. So I've set all of these up over here as Team B and I'll be going to them in a second to show you how to set it all up. But for the moment, this ship is going to be on Team B. Uh, sorry, Team B, those are all Team A. So let's go to Toggle Team. There we go. And at the moment, they always come out as Guard Mode False, so you do need to manually change that. But that's, we're now on Team B. So we are an enemy to all of these tanks and anti-aircraft batteries over here. So let's sw swap over to one of the air batteries, shall we? Here we go. So this is one of the air batteries we've got set up uh, in a stationary position. And how you set them up well the first thing you do is let's just turn guard mode off for the time being so this is what the menu looks like when you first activate it like with the same one with the team and the guard mode being false so you have to press toggle guard mode and it'll say true but nothing else on the menu will change so you need to click away from it to allow the menu to refresh and then click back and the menu has changed so then what the menu has changed to is it tells you the scan interval, which you use a slider. You can that's how many seconds uh, before scanning for an enemy ship. We've got field of view from the front facing of our little thing there, and so you kind of got to make sure that this front facing is is forwards. Um, otherwise, it could end up being a bit screwy. But with missiles, it's not too much of a problem. And the range of which you want it to attack you, because it can lock onto you. It knows you're there as soon as you've launched, but if you're outside of its range, it won't start locking onto you. And as the missiles have a range of about 2,000 meters, I set it as a guard range of 2,000. It only makes sense. So, coming down these buttons here, you can switch your target type. Now, at the moment, 
target missiles false is active. If I switch to target missiles true, what this will do is do its very best to shoot missiles out, incoming missiles out of the air. And if I go false, instead of shooting missiles out of the air, it will try and shoot you out of the air instead. We're on team A, so we don't need to toggle our team. Now to set this up, you go, you need to click weapon armed. At which point, it's still not quite ready yet. The next last thing you need to do is just go cycle weapon. And then you need to select the weapon that you want the thing to fire. After this, it's all ready and done once you set your sliders out, of course. So, just to quickly cap, sort your sliders out, make sure your team is correct, click arm, then cycle weapon until you have the weapon that you wish it to use. At which point, you can flick away, you can see we've got quite a few different batteries, and we're back to our plane. So, let's run a strike mission. We're going to turn our cockpit light on. Why not? Makes it look pretty. Okay, so um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to fast forward this launch, guys, because you can watch it and um, watch me head towards the target. And then once we are engaged near the target and are ready to use our weapons, I'll bring you back in for some live commentary. So I'll see you in a few minutes and enjoy the launch. Hello everybody, welcome back. We've selected a, our cannon and we're going to try taking out this... Let's have a look what we've got. Uh, yeah, try and take out this tank here. More or less. Now there's a bit of recoil. No, I'm not quite sure if that would have hit. But we've selected a tank as our options for our missile as well. So we're going to wait till we get within the two kilometer range i'm going to see if i can get another shot off with my cannon oh that was a miss there we go rounds heading out to target that looks like it could be a, a decent hit Let's f2 and bring it out is there going to be a pop is there going to be a pop Should see it impact the ground. Oh, not for sure. Okay, we're going to launch our missile. Missile. So, launching missile. I think that might miss because it's going to go straight down. Never mind. Okay, I'm going to bank us up and around because we've got the AA missile turrets, and we're definitely within their range as soon as we start. Oh, almost hit one of them at least. So I'm going to bring them back around. We're going to see if we can hit some more people. Now the cannon itself is pretty powerful. And it's just my own woeful shootings. Um, but also pretty long range. We've got the cameras on though. They've got the cameras mod. Which I'll probably be showcasing at some point soon too. Uh, okay, so we're just pulling away. Now the missile launchers are going to be coming after us at some point. 
I'm on team B. Mm, okay, I'm just going to pull it around. Ah, there we go. Missile fired. There we go, there's the new warnings. Now I'm launching lots of flares because I want them to lock onto one of the flares and each flare launched has a chance of it locking onto me. There we go, but launching lots of flares does make it lag out and I'm not sure if this is going to hit me. I'm not sure at all. I'm going to try and nose up. Now we'll see if it's going to hit the flares or whether it's going to hit me. Oh, I think it's locked onto me. That's going to hit me. Oh, yes. Yeah, it hit me. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, those flares didn't help too much. Oh, oh God. Where's my wing gun? Oof. So as you can see, all my munitions are falling off and everything's all gone wrong. I wanted to have at least a second firing, but never mind. Let's throttle back. We've still got all our engines. I don't think we can save this. This ship is royally buggered. Uh, I've still got most of my control surfaces though. I'm just lose I'm only missing half of my wing, so only a flash wound. Thing is, they're going to be launching again in a bit. Uh, right, let's pull out the rocket pods. Now, I'm going to show you what the rocket pods do. This nose down, we're probably going to end up crashing. But the rocket pods have got a static, like I said, green kind of targeting receptacle. There it is. So that's where it predicts where they're going to go to. So let's just fire some off. As you can see, they just streak off towards the target and you can bang off a whole load of them. Whee! <laughs> Stop launching them now. And as you can see, as we've used them up, they've actually they're now visibly missing. The actual rockets themselves do leave. This is not a effect. The rockets themselves are individually rendered. Uh, look at that. Lots of explosions. Ah, uh, no, that's it. Stall. Flat stall. Going sideways. Yeah, that's, that's the end of this. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, so these guys are pretty cool. Um, yep, there's a chance that they will lock onto you. There's a chance they'll lock onto the flares. As you can see there, it's one of their first shots actually locked onto me and destroyed me straight away. And... Beyond that, this is a pretty cool mod. Uh, you can also set guard mode up for turrets. Any turret. Ah, I'm still exploding. Stop exploding. There you go. So you can set the guard mode up for anything. You can ev even set the guard mode up for these large turrets here if you were mad enough to. Although they'd only get 20 shots and they've got a limited traverse. But hey, what the hell? Why not? Uh, but the best thing for the guard modes uh, are these... 50 cal machine guns. They are absolutely deadly. The guard mode does not miss. There's no countermeasures that stops machine guns from hitting you. Other than you just barrel rolling and just trying to keep out of their range uh, and trying to throw off their targeting. But they are deadly when they hit. And to be honest, a tank with just four of these on top and without this big barrel here, setting up correctly and you can pretty much create a complete no-fly zone over top because they will just tear anything and everything apart because they'll just overheat the modules so quickly that they just pop you don't even notice they're being overheated but uh, the uh, as well as that, uh, other than the uh, new fix to the aimers, the bomb aimers are a lot more accurate uh, the explosions and stuff like that are more accurate The Bullet drop is more accurate, and the way that the missiles travel through the air, especially at high altitude, is now a lot more accurate. They become less um, responsive at high altitude because it's thinner air and less things for their 
air surfaces to work off and still at the moment the missiles rockets and lock-on variants don't work in space they only fire in straight lines because there is no air for them to work on in space this has been the new and updated version of bd armory uh, big updates and pretty cool to install this you need to delete your original version of bd armory you have to get rid of it otherwise it will cause problems now problems as in you're going to crash and your computer is not going to be able to handle the new version so I strongly suggest a complete wipe of your old files some of the modules may or may not work on your previous build but they're easy to replace uh, if they if it does become like a problem gotcha or hit something <laughs> hit something not sure what though um, and how you install the new one is you got you have an app data folder that's the date that you drop every mod into there's no other need to unpack parts or to try and organize any other way you literally just drop and drag you take the whole folder you unzip it from the download which is completely free the links are going to be below and uh, yeah just uh, stick it in that app data folder and the rest is fine why can't I hit these shots anyway doesn't matter Thank you very much for watching everybody, hopefully, I hope that you think this has been useful. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, to answer a few questions that were posted at the end of the last videos by some of my viewers, yes, Speedy Armory is now going to be used, now that Guardian Mode is available for use. Ah, uh, yes. Yep, there we go. Oh, like a fireworks factory. <laughs> These missiles just flying off. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Stuff raining down everywhere. Uh, now that the Guardian mode uh, can be used and that you can arm your ships and allow them to defend themselves while it's in somebody else's go, yeah, get some good hits, then yes, we're going to add it in. It's, it's going to now officially be a part of our new PvP series, uh, so feel free to um, have a look at it and have a play around with it. So enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time. Bye now.